all right so welcome back so in this part of the tutorial we're going to talk about this um, this button here it's called the close and delete specific positions on profit and loss um, close means for market orders delete uh, is used for uh, limit orders so as you can see on this strategy we've got different pairs uh, market orders are there so buy sells you can see here and then there are sells and buys on different pairs um, for uh, different uh, directions now we want to uh, if we click on this button so turn it on and then you click on a PL column for a specific pair what it does is it closes both the market and the um, pending order so let's sort them you can see your AED is here let's find your AED so it's number three and we click on that you can see there your AD all the trades are gone from here and also in the pending order section you can see there's no your AD trade anymore so again we close this trades are gone right on that pair and you can do it again and again and again right so that concludes this section of our um, rates the other uh, thing that I wanted to explain so let me close all all right so let's continue this in this section we were going to talk about this these four buttons well we already talked about send which was sending pending orders we let's do the delete close and delete delete and close so what it what happens is if we have some pending orders also so let's get some pending orders on your ASD All right we've got trades in there and some market orders and if we close on close and delete all the trades and the pending orders will be closed right but if we only have pending orders so let's do it one more time send some pending orders on two pairs so your USC your GUP will get pending orders as you can see if we only want to delete the pending orders what we can do is we click delete and all the pending orders will be deleted the market orders will remain and also the other way around if we click close all the market orders will be closed all the buy and sells across all pairs but the pendings will remain right the two were closed now these are still there but if you click delete everything in here will also be deleted right cool so this concludes this part um, let's move to the second part in this part I'd like to demonstrate how to run two strategies on the same pair and be able to still manage them individually it's very important for people who runs your USD on one strategy and again your, your USD on a, another strategy and still want to be able to control them um, and close them individually so let's uh, do I've got two char charts uh, EA is running on both charts so let's uh, load pair okay pairs um, before uh, okay I can also click that and I'm uh, so the, the way you can do it is make sure you put a new magic number to it so 19 here make it unique and make sure you give a new letter to it so J is standard you can run one on J and another on another one let's make this unique and call it Q right so all our trade comments will be Q starting with Q and um, I'm happy with the rest of it uh, let's get some buys and sells also buy stop sell stops all pairs and go 
you see there's a Q here now we go here on this chart we um, click your USD again well uh, trade is not um, click is not enabled and it was not enabled so let's enable that um, because we changed the matching number on the other one so let's keep this uh, enable pairs right and also enable uh, reference so we just want a grid we can make this unique but we don't want we don't have to because we already changed the other one so this one is on Q this one is running standard on J doesn't matter and the um, magic number is different on both right okay we don't have any direction here so let's get give them direction I think we didn't click on on uh, any orange button all right let's do that there you go all directions all pairs reference price go so we've got some Q trades uh, in a minute in a moment momentarily we should have some uh, uh, J trades as well shouldn't take long if I've not made any mistake trading is on one lot one lot buy stop All right there are two J trades okay perfect so we we did it now if you um, if you look at here we've got a column called PL now the PL here um, is actually the same one as PL on this one so 14 um, almost yeah 22 so it's actually uh, updating itself it's because we've not made the calculations unique so these um, which is very important this button here let me take my paint this one and this one these two are really important um, and makes the calculation unique to the letter that you've allocated so if we go click J the calculation will only be for J and if we go click Q the calculation will only be for Q right and if we put them side by side also you probably would be able to see that they're different That's PL here. Let's get the other one as well. They're very small and tiny, but uh, you should get the sense. So you can see here we don't have any trades there. And this is 74. That's um, uh, that's one uh, 109. So the calculation is unique for J on this part, and it's unique for for Q on this part this is why why am I talking even about it because this is very much relevant to closing trades now let's assume that you want your your USD uh, trades on this strategy is profitable and you want them to be closed so if you come here if let's assume that you you've clicked you, you let's turn off the trading first so no new trades come in and we don't want our results to be affected by any change anyway okay so if all is selected here and then you click here and then you click PNL so we want to close all PNL what happens is all the Euro USD trades will be closed across both because we didn't make the closing unique to J we clicked all right so no USD if we sort this here 
I can promise you there's no Euro USD trade anymore. I can try one more pair if you want. Um, click. Sell all is selected. I can close Euro AUD trades. All Euro AUD trades will be closed across both strategies. So you see. However, on this strategy, which is the first chart, we have Q selected. So if I uh, now you can see here on Euro NZD, some trades are for Q, some trades are for J. If I click this and then go and close Euro NZD, which is number four, click that. The Euro NZD that was starting with Q is closed, but the J's are still open because this was they are not part of this comment, this this letter, right? And if we go there, the Euro NZD trades are still there. And the same is true for buying, sales, and etc. Now, very important, if you click on this, these calculations will also be based on only this pair. Because a sum total of Euro and ZD trades, if you have if you run across two pairs, will be different if you run two strategies. I hope this clip helps. Um, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Thank you so much for your attention.